Stephen Parry is my showbiz husband, one of my dearest friends in the whole wide world, and I'm so genial and lovely and saintly, and I'm always so positive about him. He does nothing but take the mercilessly out of me. I wanted to write it without um, starting right at the very beginning because whenever I listen or read about somebody's life I want to get to know them as I know them now and then go back. So this is not chronological in any shape or form. I have done all sorts of bonkers jobs. I was in Brookside for two years, so there's a chapter there. I've done work in the West End and played Marius and Les Miserables, so there was a whole section of that. I run a Welsh society globally called SUS, so that's there. I've got stories about my mother, then I go to childhood. Um, there's some life lessons in there. The interesting thing that people have found out when they've bought the book, for example, if there's a family where one speaks Welsh and the other um, doesn't, is there's two books for the price of one. I've got rather a good voice. He says I sing like a pet shop on fire. He accuses me of being a stalker when he is always ringing me up to go out together. But seriously, we've been bosom pals for a long, long time. I'll tell you how we met. Um, on the steps of the BBC, when the Beeb were doing Children in Need, it was probably one of the first ones many, many moons ago. And I'd been watching Stephen in Brookside, and I rather fancied Stephen in Brookside. Looking at him now, you wouldn't believe it. Back in the day, he was gorgeous, flat stomach, beautiful thick hair. I remember flirting with him on the steps of the BBC, and the <laughs> flirted back with me. Then, of course, then the bombshell, Stephen Parry, there was absolutely no point. We were on different buses altogether. 